Hey guys, Greg Benz here with a quick demonstration of the new path capabilities in Lomenzio version 5. When you're working with an architectural image like this, or really anything with clearly defined geometry, such as these smooth edges of this tower against the sky, that can oftentimes be a perfect case where you'd want to use paths. And it may not be a, a place where you can use luminosity masks, or you may not be able to use luminosity masks on their own. For example, if I want to adjust these clouds, well, I might want to use a light mask to help preferentially pick them versus some of the darker parts of the background sky. So something like lights too could be a great luminosity mask for these clouds to be able to make some tonal adjustments. But I'm not just getting the clouds in this case, I'm also getting parts of the glass, parts of the tower, etc. in the background. So I need further information to help isolate it. Now in previous versions of Lumenzia, I could use a tool like Quick Select or another selection, and I still can, but now in Lumenzio version 5, I have the option to use Paths as an input. So I can just go up to Window, Paths, pull up the Paths panel, and I've already created a path, which I can activate by clicking on it here. It's outside the scope of this tutorial to show you how to create your own paths, but if you're not familiar with it, search on YouTube. There's lots of great tutorials. Look for the Pen Tool, the Curvature Pen Tool, and then those are the tools you'd use to create a path. And then you have the uh, path selection and direct selection tool. Those are a couple other tools you might want to use in order to refine your path. But once you've created your path, you can use it as an input. So in this case, it's selecting the sky here with this path. And if I go and apply this lights to preview with the path active, both of them are going to be applied to whatever I create. So in this case, I'd like to use a curves adjustment I'm going to command click it to make it be in luminosity blend mode. And then when I'm asked what to want to do with this path, I'd like to not feather it. I want to keep that hard edge. And you can see now we've created this luminosity mask that excludes the tower. So it's a very nice selection of really just the sky. I can open up the curve and click on the targeted adjustment tool in order to click and bring up the clouds quite a bit. And I'll probably grab the background and bring that down. So I'm adding some contrast to this image. And we can see with just those quick adjustments, we've gone from here to here, but we've done so without adversely affecting the tower. Now that's one way you can use paths. Let's back up a few steps. I'm going to go back to the point where we had that path active here. And I'm going to make one change. So we still want to load this path with lights too, but instead of using it as if it were a selection and, and getting the same result we got in the past with Lumenzia, what I want to do instead is activate a new option called Use Vector Masks When Possible. And what this means is if you have a selection or path active, Lumenzia will convert that to a vector mask, which gives you the ability to further refine things after the fact, and it also reduces the amount of file size that your masks use, because a vector mask doesn't use any file size, as opposed to a normal layer mask that you would get. So click on this, and now when I command click on curves, I'm going to say do not feather again. Notice that we have the luminosity mask and we have a vector mask. The total result is the same. So I can go and quickly make whatever adjustments I want to make to this to add that punch and contrast to it. But at any point, if I want to change this vector mask, I can go and use the traditional tools here so you can see that this path is completely editable. So I can go and refine this. If for some reason part of this edge wasn't perfect, I have that flexibility to make changes later. So it's just one more way that you can work with luminosity masks in Lumenzio version 5. So if you're familiar with paths, definitely check this out. I think you'll find that it's a very handy way to work with luminosity masks on architecture or other clearly defined geometries. For more information about Lumenzia, please head over to gregbensphotography.com slash Lumenzia.